Welcome back to our channel. Before getting into the picks for August 22nd, let's see our short interest and short loss spreadsheet and let's see if there is an, any opportunities based on the short interest perspective. Normally, I would take a position if I do a short interest or short loss of about 150 or 200 million dollars. But at currently, I don't see any stocks which are about 200 or 150 or even 100 million dollars. So based on what I'm looking at, I don't see a big opportunities here. The highest is probably probably 62 million dollars which is not a real big deal and then i see a 77 million dollars let's check which stock is 77 million dollars so that's wayfair which has a short loss of minus 77 million dollars the current price average current price is 69.69 and average order price is 67.49 so these of course this is an estimated numbers but based on what i'm looking at i'm not i'm not going to take positions on wayfair if you do observe wayfair uh, um, for last three or four four days the short interest and short loss has came down from probably 350 million dollars or 400 million dollars it used to be and came down tremendously and if you do up if you do follow my my uh, youtube videos uh, when we invested in carvana or tblt or upst or c3.ai for the last three months or so we used to have that c3ai or uh, cvna or or uh, Wayfair at the point, the, the short loss was above $400 million. So that, at that point, it's probably a good bull um, thesis. But at, at currently for the top 80 companies, I do not see any stock with a sh higher short interest. So I probably uh, will take time to get into these uh, this stocks if, if, if I do uh, that. If I do see that the short interest or short loss is more than 150 or $200 million. All right. So coming back to our picks. Yesterday, we picked up three stocks. We picked up uh, EOSE. And then we picked up APRA and we picked up GRPN. EOSC in the morning early hours it went up to 13 percentage and then uh, it probably came down to 9 percentage at the end of the day and after hours as well the price is still going up. Based on what I'm seeing it the yellow is the the three day moving average and pink is the the seven day moving average the current price is way above the yellow or the purple lines here if you can see here tiny bit 2.74 is the seven day moving average and 2.84 is the three day moving average so the momentum is with this stock and it's probably has some room to go if you look at the support level here it's probably around five dollars and 13 cents and has some room to go it has a strong resistance around this level it kept on rejecting from this level and then it it's probably finding its way to go up it's not going to be tomorrow the after tomorrow i'm not saying it's going to be a squeeze tomorrow but what i wanted to do is if i want to confirm this trend for a day or so if i do get confirmation on this trade i probably will invest a kind of a, a swing trade for next week or next two weeks to see that if it can go up till five dollars next we talked about aprn aprn went it was a red day for aprn it, it came down I, I did not invest in today as you as you have observed from yesterday's video as well uh, i wanted to confirm the trend before i invest so that's a fa fundamental so i did find that there is an opportunity on aprn because the the simple ma simple moving average on the current price the current price crosses simple moving average around 7.94 but but if you observe that, that it got rejected from the sub at the resistance level of 8.88 it got rejected here so um even though it got rejected i still see based on based on the volume and the earnings i still on, i'm still on the bull side for aprn but again to confirm that i need to see at least couple of days of green and and if i do see that couple of days of green and if i do see the the price is crossing around nine dollars i'll probably take a trade on e and on aprn as well and then we have grpn it has a couple of bad days uh, GRPN and APRN was mentioned in, in my server and my YouTube channel on last week, maybe on Wednesday or Thursday. The price went up. It has a very good green days. It never came down, never looked back after the earnings, probably one day after the earnings, but after that it just went went up continuously. So last two days has been red. If you observe here, the yellow line is the, the current price dropped from the yellow line, which is a three day moving average. And it also touching the pink line, which is a seven day moving average. Probably I will be bare at this moment. But if you observe the red line here, this is nine dollars and forty six cents, which is the initial uh, resistance level for this stock. The price is way above the initial uh, initial resistance level. So 
the short interest from the short interest perspective and from the short loss perspective and from technical perspective combined together i see this as a bear but probably slightly towards neutralish as well i will probably invest in this stock once i uh, <coughs> once i see the confirmation of, of confirmation of the trend which we are following here and my apologies there was a call there um, i probably should have muted my my phone which i did right now all right so let's let's go back and see on spreadsheet on how the short interest for eosc apr and grpn are linked up or tied up so and if you do want this spreadsheet you can come to my website and there is a weekly free subscription you can get this website web, with this spreadsheet for free and there is a weekly and daily subscription and there is an options to enter to my discord server and you can see my daily trade ls whenever i'm going to take trades so on eosc the short loss is minus eight million dollars the short int uh, interest is 24.82 it's really not a big numbers but again what i was telling before on the technical perspective and from the from even from the fundamental perspective it has a 400 billion dollar company so i i mean 400 million dollar company so i do feel like this is a good place to invest in on eosc and the next talk we talked about is aprn On APR and we have a minus two million dollars of short loss. The current price is seven point nine seven. Average order price is six point six million dollars. It's a smaller cap company, but I still consider this to be on the bullish side, obviously for the reasons which I mentioned before. Again, I'm not going to invest until I get confirmation on these trades. Next, next is GRPN. Why it's not coming? G R P N. Okay. Sorry about that. So it's eleven billion dollars of short loss, and the uh, and the average order price is nine dollars and eighteen cents, and the average order and average percentage of float is twenty seven point three six. It's it's a big company considering the other two companies which are shorted as well. So I will be looking G R P N. I did it did had two red days continuous, uh, and it did cross the seven day and three day moving average, but it's still in my radar. To see if there is kind of a reversal from this point. So these three stocks I'll be looking at closely for this week and even uh, at any at any day based on the short based on the short interest, the price, and also technical indicators. I do want to mention here there is an option in my website. If you go, I'll drop the link on the description. If you can go to the link, and if you want to get a short interest or the cost to borrow for any company, I do update this every day. Um, I on the website. So if you want to. So, for example, if you want to get the short interest of Carvana CVNA, you just type in CVNA without any space and the caps, and you just submit it, and it's already in there. So let's let's try some other stuff. Let's try TBLT. So you can, you'll get the uh, updated short interest and cost to borrow of the com of the company, and this service is free of cost. So you also have a weekly weekly subscription. You can just subscribe to my mailing list, and I'll send you my picks every week along with the market watch. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe and like the video and increase the channel to grow. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow.